the sun came in with Nathan, I understand. Sorry? The sun, the sun began well, to sh- well, see, shine on the group as soon as he joined. When Nathan joined the band, handsome as, is, <laughs> as he's known, um, uh, funny story actually, we were in Cork um, in the very south of Ireland um, uh, doing a show a while back when he first joined the band, maybe after a few months. Yeah. And um, this guy, this kind of itinerant uh, <laughs> fella, um, <laughs> uh, it's already to, funny. He came, no, came yeah. up to him. He was kind of, he had the, he had the sort of the windswept uh, Irish Irish look, you know, the hair <laughs> up here and the, the eyes sort of one off to the shops and one in the pub. Um, and uh, he, looked, he just looked Nathan up and down, <laughs> looked him up and down, and he just said, handsome. <laughs> and then just walked, walked off. <laughs> And everybody was just stopped <laughs> right. dead in their tracks for a minute, and uh, and then obviously we burst out laughing, and that became Nathan's um, Nathan's secret identity. <laughs> well, not very secret; it's clear for everyone to see. Right, um, right this right. morning. But uh, but yeah, when he joined the band, it all changed. You know. You said you had a hot guy in the band. We had a finally had a hot guy in the band. <laughs> <laughs> you know, I'm not going to say that. But, uh, don't 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 play Johnny Quinn this. <laughs> this. Uh, <laughs> The album that you put out, this your most recent record. I mean, before we get to up to now, um, is a, is an album called Hundred Million Sons." And um, you described the first single of this record, which is "Take Back the City," as a rallying cry. What are you rallying around? Um, to the new Belfast, to Belfast the way it is now. Um, you know, I grew up. Uh, Nathan and I both grew up in a Belfast that was very different to to to, to peacetime Northern Ireland. Um, it's you know built around. Mistrust, division, fear, um, violence, sporadic violence as it was. It wasn't like a, a constant war zone like it might have been depicted in the news, but it was, um, it was still um, explosive in, in many ways. Um, and uh, that all changed. Um, and now we, we live, I still live in Belfast or close to it, and I, I live in a Belfast that is um, completely and utterly changed. It's... Uh, it's in, vital and vibrant and the music scene, the art scene in general has now been allowed to flourish because people can walk the streets at night, people can mm. uh, have a, a nightlife, um, you, know, uh, you know, just per se. And um, uh, the music scene, it's, it's, it's the Pick Like the City is kind of a music, uh, uh, um, uh, you know, a kind of a, a clarion call to, to the new music scene in Belfast. You know, it, it, um, it's, it's what I've. It's what's made me fall back in love deeply in love with the place. Nicely yeah. done. I understand you guys recently started a music publishing company, yeah. um, uh, by artists for artists. Tell me about that. Why? Well, let's we'll turn on your microphone first. There you go. Excellent. Okay. Do we? Ha- can we turn on his microphone? Hello, Adam. Can we turn on his microphone? Is it on? There's, there you go. Is it on? Okay. Excellent. Um. Yeah, no, well, it's, you know, it was Johnny Quinn's idea, um, really, um, our drummer. And um, it's, you know, we just meet a lot of songwriters, as you would in 15 years. Um, and uh, that, that kind of are kind of are struggling or that kind of need a hand and, and need um, a better representation um, for their songs than they're getting. And it kind of um, a lot of people have been sort of messed over um, in, in that department in the past and we've uh, so we just thought that it, we would set up our own play we set up our own record label as well to put out um, Ian Archer's uh, last record and hopefully a few more um, but for the publishing we set up uh, Polar Publishing which I think is going to become Bipolar um, <laughs> Bipolar Publishing um, as in B-Y Polar um, and um, and that, that's yeah. We've, our first signing was Johnny McDade, who's a f- you know phenomenal. And how phenomenal and how will writer. you? What would you differ, do differently than a than a major publishing house? Um, <sighs> well, I think there's. I guess there's um, one thing. It's just this sort of we're not going to hold people forever, you know. Um, yeah. Sort of short term, you know, and as you said, artist friendly because um, right. because we are, we know, um, and I think that. You know that they're, they're not going to be stuck to long-term contracts and and get the best out of it. You know and good rates. <laughs> <laughs> and and you know they so they get the the, the uh, m- most of the benefits and none of the kind of the the the, the holding over the hot coals of, that we've had in the past. And so if there's p- bands or artists listening across Canada, across North America right now, what do they do? They get they get in touch with you. I yeah, um, well, we... Uh, I think it's all being set up at the minute, but um, there should be something to get to inside our 
on, your, uh, our, on our, your site. Look on the on the Snow Patrol website, yeah. and we'll put up the the then we'll put a link to the site where you actually have to go to. But it'll <laughs> probably be a week or so before it, uh, it's all up and running. Okay. But, um, but okay. uh, as I say, we've already signed our first artist, so uh, it's 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 all legit. And do you feel <laughs> do you feel like you're you're in a place now to um, mentor? Uh, younger bands. I mean, you're not that old, but I mean, just to, do you feel like that's something that you want to do? Is that a give back? Is that something that uh, feels like a an imperative for you? Yeah, I think we, we've been thinking about that for for years. You know, we, we've. I mean, we're very kind of approachable anyway. I would, you know, I would imagine it's pretty easy for a band to just come up and and, mm -hmm. and ask us questions anyway because they do all the time. But I mean, we set up a thing in 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 Northern Ireland, Belfast, and um, or we're part of the team behind setting it up with the Oh Yes Centre, which is kind of a, a music centre with um, recording studio and and, uh, and rehearsal rooms and uh, venue and places where music-related businesses can have an office and, you know, like a, a sort of a, a nexus for music in Belfast that there never was when I was, I mean, Nathan yeah, were sure. growing up there, there wasn't anywhere. So, I mean, we're kind of, we're always kind of thinking of, of ways that we can kind of contribute because whatever however many times music kicked us in the ass you know it's given us it's also given us a life mm -hmm. uh, you know and uh, uh and we don't want people to have to go through the same things that we went through at the start you know if they could fast forward those 10 years that we had in any way by us giving them some advice then geez that would be well, a few minutes ago invaluable. you called it a rite of passage i thought musicians had to do that yeah no but i mean two years is a rite of passage <laughs> Right, ten years. Ten is years, a, you get a little a hungry. Trial by fire. <laughs> Nathan, what, what would you say you've learned by being in Snow Patrol? I mean, <laughs> other than you're shockingly handsome, um, uh, what 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 uh, what have you learned in this in this uh, journey? Um, it's a really good question. Um, <laughs> you know, if there's a young band coming to you, I mean, what what is there something you would particularly impart to? Uh, them? I have learned a lot. It's um. Uh, it's not today. It's just uh, you, you've caught me on a on a, on a slow day. That's okay. Um, yeah. But um, you've learned that there'll be to be slow how, days. <laughs> yeah. Well, I've, yeah, I've learned how to deal with slow days and do interviews with them. Um, <laughs> I, I guess kind of um, just general behaviour. You know how to how to conduct yourself as a band as as musicians with the other musicians and um, your bandmates, your brothers. You know, and and how important that has. Or you know, not become, but is, mm. and um, that you know, it's it, you know, it's rock and roll. It should be fun, and it is. Um, it is fun with this band, um, but also you know, it's it's there's there's serious things to be done too. You know, and you take your music seriously. You know, and not yourselves, but um, mm. it's it's just you know, you got you got to. Live it. You got to believe it, and you got to be honest about it. And I think that's, you know, what what um, we're we're still learning. <laughs>